हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू गोल्डन जाइन टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट लीनियर डाफेटान इक्वेशन सो फर्स्ट थिंग आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू इज व्हाट काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन यू विल बी एबल टू सॉल्व यूजिंग दिस इक्वेशन दिस इज लीनियर डाफेटान इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल्स सो एंड देयर इज ओनली अ सिंगल प्री रिक्वायर्ड दैट इज द एक्सटेंडेड यूक्लिड एल्गोरिथम सो द प्रॉब्लम्स यू विल बी एबल टू सॉल्व इज लाइक गिवन अ लीनियर इक्वेशन एक्स प्लस बी वाई इक्वल टू सी you will be asked to find one possible solution you will be asked to find one possible solution where x and y are integers or all possible solutions where x and y are integers number of solutions in an interval a solution with minimum value of x plus y so these are the classical problems on this equation and we are going to discuss them one by one so let's talk about the first problem we are given ax plus by is equal to c this is our equation 1 and we want to find out uh, at uh, one of the solution of this equation where x and y are integers and from the extended euclid algorithm we already know the value of x g g and y g using a and b so we know the solution for a x g plus b y g is equal to g and now if i divide both sides by g I get a x g by g plus b y g by g equals one. Now I can multiply both sides by c, and hence uh, I will get I will get a x g into c by g plus b y g into c by g equals to c. Uh, let this be my equation number two. And now if I compare the coefficients of equation one and equation two, I can see that this a is same, this b is same, and the c is same. So I can compare um, the x values. and i will get x is equal to xg into c by g and y is equal to yg into c by g we know all the values and now we want these x and y values to be integer and for that condition to satisfy we must have c by g as integer because we know xg and yg are already integers so for this to satisfy c mod g must be equal to 0 if this is not the case then we will uh, not have any possible integer solution i will call these two values as x0 and y0 let's move on to the next problem so we want to find all the possible solutions of this equation we know x uh, we know one of the solution of this uh, equation from the above problem ax0 plus by0 is equal to c now if i add and subtract k b by g Uh, on the left side, and from these two terms, I am going to take a common, and then from from these two terms, I am going to take b common. I will get, I will get a x zero plus k b by g plus b times y zero minus k a by g. Let this be my equation three, and from equation one, we can see that general solution for x is x zero plus k b by g, and general solution for y. is y0 minus k by g so first we need to find out the values of x0 and y0 and next we can calculate where k is any integer k can be 0 1 2 3 and k can also be negative let's move on to the next problem problem number 3 is to find the number of solution in an interval and we know that uh, we know the general solution for x and y we will be given some x min uh, where x belongs to some x min to x max and uh, we will also be given some range for y y min to some y max and we can do some maths and find all those values of k for will satisfy both of these equations and those values of k we can count them and th that will be the solution let's move on to the next problem we want to find the minimum uh, we want to find the solution with minimum value of x plus y and when we add the general solution x plus y becomes x0 plus y0 plus k times b minus a by g right now we can see that this is a constant term and this is also a constant term and the only thing that is variable is k 
and k can range from minus infinity to plus infinity so if we don't have any constraint on x and y the answer will be equal to minus infinity so for this problem we need to have some constraint on x and y right and once we are given that constraint we can uh, we can change the value of k to find the minimum possible solution so let's quickly get into the coding part and in this video i will only show the code for the first case which is to find x0 and y0 and rest we can do some simple math and find out the other solutions right first is the python code so let's quickly code the function i'm calling it ld and it takes three parameters a b and c first i'm going to tackle the edge case which is if a equals equals zero and b equals equals zero then if c equals equals zero i'm going to return a very large value like 10 is to power 9 and else i'm going to return zero so if c is zero then we have uh, infinite solutions else we have zero number of solutions if this is not the case then i have to calculate the value of g uh, x0 uh, xg and yg which is equal to extended gcd a and b so now that we have xg and yg i will first check if this c is a uh, if this c uh, c mod g is equal to 0 if it is not equal to 0 then i'm going to return 0 now that we know it is equal to 0 then we must get at least a single solution x0 will be equal to xg times c by by g and y0 is equal to yg times c by by g and i'm going to return 0 comma y0 let's quickly uh, test it so print lde uh, 3x plus let's say 4y is equal to uh, 7 answer is 1 comma 1 uh, so let's check if it returns 1 comma 1 3 comma 4 3 comma 4 comma 7 let's check if it works and it returns minus 7 comma 7 uh, and we see that the answer is minus 7 comma 7 according to this so let's check 3 into minus 7 is minus 21 and 4 into 7 is 28 and when we add minus 21 and 28 we get 7 and hence the solution is correct but uh, here is something we missed that what if 3 is negative so if I pass in minus 3 here I get 7 comma 0 so there is one fix for this uh, when we try my negative uh, we we cannot we are not actually even able to find the GCD right so first we need to calculate the value of a and b for the absolute values of a and b right and once we have this xg and yg what we can do is uh, we can calculate this much is correct we can calculate the value of xg and yg like this but if a less than 0 if a is negative we will change the sign of x0 uh, if b is negative then we will change the sign of y0 mm, let's see if it works uh, now it is returning 7 comma 7 so 3 into minus 7 is 21 4 7 is 28 and hence this is also the correct solution so this is the complete function and now, now let's also see the code in c++ so in c++ there is no way to return more than one integers uh, integer like x0 and y0 so i'm not going to return any value i will just check if that solution exists or not so my function type will be bool and i will just call it lde linear diaphragm equation and i will pass in four parameters int a int b and uh, int and x the as a pointer make a copy not a copy and int and y because i'm going to ch make changes in the these x and y itself and uh, if i will just check for the edge case if a equals equals 0 and uh, b equals equals 0 if c is equal to 0 if c equals equals 0 i'm just going to return true that a solution exists okay i have to take int c as a parameter also and if else i am going to return false that no no solution exists 
नेक्स्ट इफ दिस इज नॉट द केस देन आई ऑल्सो हैव टू फाइंड आउट द जी सी डी एक्स जी एंड वाई जी सो एंड जी एक्स जी एंड वाई जी नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ जी एक्स जी एंड वाई जी यूजिंग द एक्सटेंडेड यूकुलेट एज गॉर्दम विच वॉज द जी इज इक्वल टू एल डी ई ए बी एंड एक्स जी वाई जी सो दिस लाइन जस्ट नॉट एल डी इट शुड बी यू एक्सटेंडेड यूकलेड सो दिस लाइन जस्ट कैलकुलेट द जी सी डी एंड गिव्स मी द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स जी एंड वाई जी ना आई विल चेक एफ सी मॉड जी इक्वल्स इक्वल जीरो नो इफ इट इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो देन आई एम गोइंग टू रिटर्न ऑल्स ऑल्स विच मीन्स डेट नो सोल्यूशन एग्जिस्ट and if it exists then i will calculate them if this is not equal to 0 uh, if this is equal to 0 then i will just update the these values of x and y x is equal to xg times c by g and y is equal to yg hence c by g and i will return that i uh, got the solution right so let's check bool check equals l d e a b here i will also make a c c equals 7 a b and c and uh, x and y f check c out c out x equals x and space y equals y else see out no integer solution on right and let's check if this works i just saw by made no errors let's quickly run it so it is compiling and we get a solution x is minus 7 and y is 7 which is correct so now for the negative values of a and b i am going to do if a less than 0 uh, if a less than 0 then uh, xg uh, no x is equal to x star minus 1 x times minus 1 and uh, if b less than 0 then y is equal to y times minus 1 so let's check if this works and this time i'm going to pass minus 3 here and i got 7 comma 7 which is the correct output so this is it guys i hope you like this video i will see you guys next time with another algorithm thank you